Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Our Guns. So today's Reaper Challenge, we have the Fanbreaker Island. You may look at the conditions and yes, there are a repeat of yesterday's. In fact, there are actually no consumables, no artifact powers and no mount combat powers, not recharge speed or no revives. Now I'm going to go over this dungeon as it were Fanbreaker Island. Same mechanics and so on. The only thing with the Reaper's Challenge is the difficulty goes up a little bit by the enemies just dealing a bit more damage. I haven't found any of the bosses to deal over the top damage compared to the normal dungeon. So we initially jump in and you're just going to have to navigate your way up this mountain fighting these different giants and their pets, these owl bears. Now you're just going to fight a whole bunch of them and then continue your way up. Now don't do what I did and wait before you go up this passageway. I expected I could mount up and you can get past this way first. You can see I get pushed off and you're just going to have to run all the way around again. Now while fighting these giants you may know notice these blue runes on the ground. You can see I go into one of them here and you get stunned for a little duration. So don't do that. But now we've finished all of those guys. We're going to have this roar. We've no stamina. We get pushed and it's all good. We just make our way to the first boss. Gather the party. Make sure we have single target powers. So let's go. We have Haiti. Now you're going to have to activate him by going to the edge of the platform like these guys are and there he is and then rush to the center here and hug this crag. Does a terrifying roar and pushes us all away so if you're not by that crag you get pushed off the arena and you'll be gone. Otherwise, one mechanic to for sure look out for, especially if you're a DPS, is this mechanic. If you're caught in it, you'll take a poison damage over time and you'll also get pushed backwards. Same with the tail swing, like that. You saw the DPS got pushed back. This one again, if I do it, you see I did block it, but you can see the poison mark up there at the top right. I take poison damage over time. Otherwise, when you get him down to that 50% HP, he flies off. And you can see he's going to be on top of the crag there again. You need to rush and hug it. Terrifying roar again. No stamina. Can't block. Apparently that killed us all because we we're low HP. I can use a scroll, so apparently we do have revives. But I can't use consumables as that is blocked for this challenge. And we have lost Haiti. She's gone. All right, it appears Haiti disappeared and we can proceed on. But normally you'll have that push and then he'll do the same push again at 30% HP and that's it. Just avoid those tail spikes. Now here, oh, I have an injury. No VIP sucks. We just have a bunch of these trolls and we're going to have to make our way through these caverns. So this is the first section. Ouch, these trolls hurt. We just kill off these trolls, make our way to this wall and call Owen. And there we go. And now we just have to wait a total of two minutes. A bit boring. All you have to do is wait and kill trolls. And ouch, they hurt. And the normal FBI won't be at dealing as much damage, so it's a lot more relaxing. Make sure you take the aggro on those trolls. They can kill the DPS real quick, even myself included. A few seconds to go, and he finally melts the wall, and we continue our way through these chilling tunnels. There's a whole bunch more of these trolls. Ouch, that hurt. Let's just scroll. Take the aggro, continue on. We just have to do the same thing. Kill these trolls, and then go to the wall and call over and over. Now what you can do is, not sure it's a good idea. You could hide in that cave, but I'm going to tell these guys not to. Because we could just get overwhelmed by them and we'll keep dying. Complete my legacy campaign quest. Wonderful. Kill off the last trolls. Owen will break the wall and we can leg it. Should be able to leave the trolls. They should stop spawning. Watch out for this ice slide. It can cause you to slide off the edge fairly easily if you don't watch out. Gather our party here. And don't worry, you'll get a campfire before the second boss. Here's our campfire. Doesn't look like one, but it has reset my skulls, so that's wonderful. Skip the cutscene, and we have to fight this giant turtle. Now this guy, you gotta watch out. You're on a platform which you can fall off the edge, and then you'll be dead. This guy has a bite attack, which I highly recommend avoiding, and also this red area. In a normal one, I guess it doesn't do much damage here either. In the normal one, that red area, its damage is very minimal. This bite attack, you can see the guy in front of me is taking some heavy damage. He really shouldn't be there, but it's nothing too big that you have to avoid. But now he phases, he's gone, he's at that 75% HP, and we have these runes spawning on the platform. What you want to do is leave the outer runes, leave those there, Get rid of these close ones because they're just annoying. Wait for the boss to appear above the water again. So there he is. And shoot the rune towards him and it'll burst and knock him down. 
And that'll stop him steaming all of us. Now that's not as important as it was. Right now all it's going to do is just going to speed up the process of him coming back so we can beat him up. But otherwise he would breed that steam on us and we take heavy damage. But I believe the damage is pretty minimal. Right now you can see we can't deal any combat advantage against him. So if you're a rogue or have any abilities that allow you to make it so that the boss would take combat advantage damage, that can be very neat. Like the pseudo dragon or the black death scorpion. Last I checked the black death scorpion didn't actually work here. I don't know why, it just kept dying. So we got him down to that 50% uh, HP about, and he disappears again. All group up in the middle, we have no stamina, we can't dodge or block or anything. Again, leaving those runes on the outside, and just keep an eye out for the turtle. There we go, we need to ideally throw one at him, but there's none near. There's one here, angle it, there we go, poof, no, didn't hit him, I don't think. And he's back, we can keep beating him up. Our DPS isn't the best, but we should be okay on the last boss. This thing, you, you can dodge it. You can also hold up your shield, but you won't block the damage you take from falling. And if you're a rogue, by all means, do not use Deft Strike here. You'll end up behind the boss and in the water. And that'll do be rip. And he disappears again at that 30% HP mark. Same story. You don't have to actually kill this boss. We'll get him down to about, I believe, 20% HP or so, and then he'll just disappear. That should be him gone now. There we go. Cutscene, which again, we can skip. And we proceed on. You'll see that. Ice platforms appear there, and we jump through these guys. I don't have my Ring of Condemned, so that's good. Make sure you don't. And we go and interact with this door. Gather your party at the door. Now we have to enter the Harsh Wind Hold. Enter in, and now we just have to look for the Ring of Winter. So you have to interact with these 10 places. This being one of them. And these giants will just kill their minions. Unfortunately, if the giants die, then these bandit dudes will beat up your companions. So that's okay. We have these Ring of Winter searching places places we have six out of ten probably have to kill these ads i'll try res this guy there we go normally you don't have to kill them but these weird orcs can kill our giants so quick and when they do that then they'll go for somebody else which is us usually search this chest there we go we have just have three more spots you can see the spots on the map here there where the diamonds are so be one spot there and the last spot just here and there we go now we have to just face the last boss druffy we aggro her give the party combat advantage she's just gonna charge around the place being one of her mechanics ideally charge her into a corner and have her keep charging there she phases and you run up to her just be right adjacent to her keep up and she's gonna push you back what you need to do is keep walking against it try not get pushed like those guys all the way back if you get pushed into the ice wall you take lots of damage there she charges me starts another time just strikes me with sword. Her damage is okay. Now we're going to have ice. Move, move, move. Whenever she does that with her sword, you can see the ice appears. Now, as a tank, I need to move her away. Okay, now we have winter is coming. You need to hide behind the ice. And just go in it here. Make sure you're at the back end of it. And you should be protected. And then it doesn't kill you. Anybody else dead? She's dead. She'll automatically try charge at anybody who's dead to make it harder to pick them up. Charge at me and should charge a third time. Yes into the ice there trophy keep the aggro on her and now we're gonna move that's the ice mechanic you saw there and I, i'll move to the opposite side so she doesn't destroy the ice her attacks also destroy it and that's this boss you've seen pretty much all the mechanics there is it's just about getting used to when she's going to do the mechanic for that ice you have to make sure you get out of it if you get stuck in the ice people will have to break you out and thus destroy the ice meaning they won't have protection she's gonna charge again try and make sure she charges each time not like across the arena so dps can still dps on her at least the ranged ones see this ice wall you take damage when you go up against it yeah ideally you won't want that that's the hypothermia you just want to group up for that and move for the ice move 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 guys we all dodged it good stuff and we've nearly got her dead ice is still there you don't want your companions destroying it either you need that as protection there we go we're gonna all gonna have to hide behind it now one guys get behind and that guy died she's gonna charge now oh and we killed her wonderful we got her and that's druffy and fbi fairly straightforward these mechanics can be a bit of a pain if you have too much damage in your group what will happen is you might get that winter phase before the ice appears 
and then you're a bit screwed you'll all die you can go and get your chests here this one is for free here may as well just take those blood rubies and the second one you'll need an ancient runic key which will come from the campaign the storm king stander which you can create just here with your vanum blood and your 10 town supplies but you can also purchase it from the cloak descendancy from one of the vendors in the river district and that will get you these rewards here and these are story and relics you can trade in for some decent bottom blood and there we have it this was more of a live commentary for fbi hopefully it's still insightful and i've gone through all the mechanics you would need to know for this dungeon to succeed properly with that said i'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going and if i presented this well consider leaving the video a like and if you're new around here consider subscribing we'll see you guys around goodbye for now